Now, yesterday, Eminem was performing at Bonnaroo Festival in Tennessee. The performance was going great, everybody was enjoying themselves until something happened that led to Eminem getting blasted all over social media. Now, what exactly happened in this situation? Well, this right here happened. Now, as you can see, what happened right there was Eminem was performing his track Kill You from the Marshall Mathers LP, and during his set, what sounded to be gunshot sound effects were set off, which created a loud boom while Eminem was performing. And basically, what's happening right now is he's been getting a lot of backlash on social media for this. A lot of people are saying things like it was very irresponsible of Eminem to include this on the show because it caused panic due to the fact that the gunshots were so realistic. One person on Twitter said, when Eminem let off the gunshot sound effects at his Bonnaroo set last night, the whole place went silent because we all thought it was real. I'm hella disappointed in Slim Shady now, shaking my head. Another person said, less than a year after Vegas and Eminem thinks it's a good idea to blast gunshot special effects on stage at a music festival? Bad call on this headliner at Bonnaroo, what happened to radiate positivity? And then last but not least, a social media star by the name of Andrea Russett said this, I hate to be the one to say it, but being someone who suffers from very mild PTSD, it was extremely irresponsible and distasteful to end songs with the gunshot sound effect. I have grown up loving Eminem and his music, but I was extremely triggered to the point of tears. Now, to be honest, I had never heard about Andrea Russett before until this, so I don't really know much about her, but apparently she's very popping on social media. She has over 7 million followers on Twitter and 4 million on Instagram, and apparently she's so popping to the point where this entire thing actually started to go a little bit mainstream because she tweeted about it. By the way, side note, she deleted the tweet because she got a lot of backlash for it. Obviously, she has a lot of fans and they all went on Twitter kind of blasting Eminem. And then after that, the media started to talk about it and it looks like a lot of people aren't too happy with Eminem. But of course, on the other hand, we have a lot of people who are on Eminem's side saying you shouldn't have gone to a festival where Eminem is the headliner if you're that sensitive. Get over yourself. Now, contrary to popular belief, even though what you heard sounded like gunshot sound effects, it really wasn't gunshot sound effects. It was an effect called pyrotechnic concussion which creates a loud boom and makes it sound like gunshots. And obviously this effect is very common amongst artists when they're performing and Eminem himself has used it in the past very frequently. Matter of fact for 10 years straight without any complaints. But here we are in 2018 the present moment and Eminem is getting blasted all over social media for these quote unquote gunshots. Now what do I personally think about this entire situation? What I think is first we have to look at it from two different perspectives. Let's look at it from the perspective of the audience at the festival who are there in person. So people are obviously vibing out to the music at the festival with thousands and thousands of strangers surrounding them. They're in a somewhat confined space because you can't leave the festival without having to go through all those people and then go through the exit which is gonna take you a long time because these festivals are held in a very open space because of course there's a big audience coming to these festivals. And then out of nowhere you hear a loud and unexpected bang. Now my first thought would probably be to look around and kind of scan the area just to see if anybody else thinks what's happening is weird. In a situation like that, you're not sure if what you're hearing is actually what you're hearing since you're probably so much in the moment just enjoying yourself and having a good time. So me personally, am I really gonna blame people for being scared and feeling like what could have potentially be happening is a shooting? Absolutely not because we know that shootings are very common in America nowadays. We have the Las Vegas shooting that killed 59 people. We have the Texas church shooting that killed 27 people. And then we have the Florida Parkland shooting that killed 17 people. Now, these are some of the more recent ones that has happened, but the point is, yes, people are walking around in their day-to-day -day life feeling a little bit more cautious because you never know if Eugene is gonna stick his arm into the backpack and go for a real-life kill streak. And these are some very real things. I don't think we can really blame the people at the festival for getting scared. In a situation like this, I really blame the media for making this such a big deal. It seems like they really want Eminem to take the fall for some strange reason. In my eyes, I don't think he 
made a mistake. Although I do think that perhaps there could have been some type of PSA to the crowd just to be on the safe side. Obviously something like a PSA wouldn't take a whole lot of energy or resources to orchestrate so in my eyes why not. And another thing we gotta consider is the age of most of these people at that festival. If I'm gonna have to take a rough guess Bonnaroo was probably full of 18 and 19 years old who heard Rap God by Eminem for the first time five minutes ago and decided to go to the festival. Now only that tells me that the people from the audience haven't even been a fan of Eminem for such a long time. Which makes me understand that yeah even though Eminem has been using these effects for about 10 years, I can't really blame the audience for not being prepared for it. At the end of the day I think the media is full of sensitive ass journalists who have nothing better to do than sit on their fat asses and make a big deal out of a small event like this. Putting the blame on Eminem would be the equivalent of putting the blame on McDonald's for making kids fat. I'm sorry but that shit just does not add up. Now of course that's my personal opinion but what do you think about this entire situation? Who do you think is to blame here? Do you think that Eminem is wrong or do you think that he's not wrong? Definitely let me know in the comment section below and let's have a discussion about this. But as always if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to this channel. This channel is all about bringing together people like you who enjoy music and start a discussion on different topics like this. And of course like the video if you enjoyed it follow me on all my social media accounts. It's on the screen and I'm out.